Now, after more than a year of relative calm at the Gaza Strip, tensions have flared up again. The state of Israel has resorted to what it describes as preemptive airstrikes into the Gaza Strip. This, of course, is the second day where Israel has carried out air bombings over the Gaza Strip. Now, according to the latest bit of information that is coming in, the latest bombardments by the Israelis have taken place in the Palestinian city of Rafah. And the death toll has now risen to 32 people, including six innocent children. So this is what the scene looks like in the city of Rafah after the Israelis carried out air bombings on the city. 32 people have been killed, including six young children so far. And this has happened since yesterday. And also, according to reports that have come in, at least about 215 people have suffered some serious injuries in these air bombings by the state of Israel. However, the Israeli government has defended its preemptive airstrikes in the Palestinian territory. On Friday, remember, the operation was launched to carry out air bombings within the Gaza Strip by the State of Israel. And so far, according to reports that have come in, two senior leaders of a certain group called the Palestinian Islamic Jihad have been killed, Tasir al-Jabari and Khalid Mansour, who reportedly belong to the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, have been killed as a part of these air strikes by the State of Israel. And other Prime Minister's office in Israel has claimed that the rebel group in Gaza attempted to target Israeli authorities but failed in its operation. Now, the Palestinians have resorted to firing rockets as a retaliatory measure into Israel. But remember, Israel, of course, has got this Iron Dome shield and has managed to shoot down most of these crude elementary rockets that the Palestinians have at their disposal. And many of these rockets fired by the Palestinians have fallen well short in the Gazan city of Jabalia. Now Hamas has said that the children were killed in the Israeli airstrikes that were carried out. Tonight, Islamic Jihad terrorists fired a rocket towards Israel, which fell short inside Gaza, hitting a Palestinian home in the Jabalia neighborhood and tragically killing at least four children. There is video documenting the entire thing. There was no Israeli activity in the Gaza Strip, in that area or at that time. Islamic Jihad is killing Palestinian children in Gaza. One in four rockets fired from Gaza towards Israel lands inside the Gaza Strip. Iran's proxies, including Islamic Jihad, have a long history of hiding behind civilians to target Israeli civilians. The world should be outraged at this terrorist group targeting innocent Israelis and killing innocent Gazans. Israel will continue to stand up to this vicious terrorist organization, which threatens Israelis and Palestinians alike. So the latest tensions are a testimony to the conflict that's been ongoing for several decades now. Now, the Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz has also issued a warning for the Palestinian leaders listening to what Benny Gantz has had to say. ונמשיך לסכל טרוריסטים רבים שמתכננים לשגר רקטות ופצמ"רים לישראל. פגענו בעשרות מתקנים צבאיים שמשמשים את הג'יהאד האיסלאמי לייצור ולשיגור. Now, the past two days, remember, Israel has resorted to carrying out massive air bombings in the Palestinian territories in the Gaza Strip. It has justified what it has in its own words, described as a preemptive strike in the Gazan city, stating that it is going after certain leaders of the Islamic Jihad group in Palestine. 
Now, the Islamic Jihad in Palestine is on group that is also known to be fairly close to the Hamas. Now, both are, of course, the strongest of the groups that operate in the very tiny Gaza Strip. And both of them, and especially the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, is reportedly backed by Iran, which is an arch rival of the State of Israel. Now, those were the massive air bombings that were carried out by the State of Israel in the Gazan Strip. Meanwhile, in Israel, the Palestinian factions have responded with about 160 of these crude elementary rockets that they've got at their disposal. Most of these rockets were, of course, struck down by the Israeli Iron Dome shield. However, they set off sirens of air raids, and this, of course, sent people scurrying into their bomb shelters. The most of these crude Palestinian missiles were intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome. Meanwhile, Israel has also now resorted to deploying its military troops and heavy artillery near the border with Gaza. The latest tensions have also happened in the aftermath of the state of Israel imposing a blockade on certain entry points into Gaza. Now, these are the entry points through which diesel and other fuel were brought into the Gaza Strip to power the only electricity generating power plant in Palestine and without diesel this this electricity plant has been functioning on and off and now we're going to understand that the Palestinian people have access to electricity just about eight hours in a day. Now, Russia has urged the state of Israel to exercise maximum restraint in the Gaza Strip. The United Kingdom is also urging for a swift end to the violence but as it always does, has openly stood by its ally, the State of Israel. Now, many experts closely watching the developments have said that Israel's upcoming November elections, of course, have a major role to play in this flare-up where the present Prime Minister of Israel may perhaps try to use this particular conflict and these air raids as leverage in the political campaign that he now indulges in. Uh, the Palestinian people have accused the Israeli leaders of using Gaza as a weapon to rally the Israeli population during its election. Now, just last year, remember, there had been an 11-day-long conflict, conflict in which the State of Israel resorted to carrying out massive air bombings on the Gaza Strip. There was a barrage of missiles that were fired. 250 people were killed in the Palestinian side in the 11-day war and about 13 Israelis also lost their lives. And just over a year later, the two sides are back at it again where the State of Israel has now resorted to these massive bombings in the Gaza Strip. And our correspondent Jody Cohen has been tracking this story very closely for us from the Israeli side and has sent us this report from Ra'anana. Listen in to what's been said. Israel has said its fight is not against the people of Gaza, but against Iranian proxy Islamic Jihad, which is blacklisted as a terror group by Israel, the US and EU. Israel has said its actions were to preempt imminent terror attacks being planned by Islamic Jihad against Israeli civilians, and that in the past 24 hours, 365 rockets have been fired at Israel, 96% of which were aimed at residential areas. Areas, and a ceasefire is not expected, at least over the next few days. This is Jodie Cohn for We On, World is One.